service. Seattle prosecutors tonight are rejecting a mass plea bargain deal pitched by WTO protesters. Most of the 500 people charged following last week's unrest face charges of failure to disperse and obstructing pedestrian traffic. Organizers say if the charges are not reduced, demonstrators plan to tie up the courthouse by demanding full jury trials. Last week it was the streets WTO protesters were tying up and it cost Seattle retailers millions. Cairo 7 Eyewitness News reporter Kevin McCarty is live downtown where shop owners are trying to recover. Kevin. Steve, retailers lost four precious days last week and it even bled over into the weekend. Now there's fear that those who stayed away won't come back. This is downtown Seattle tonight, all dressed up and ready for Christmas shoppers. This was downtown Seattle a week ago tonight, the battleground where WTO demonstrators staged sit-ins and protests. At the height of the Christmas shopping season, merchants would like the public to forget this and go back to this. And there are some that are not leaving that to chance. This weekend, officers that have now gotten a little bit of a nap, like myself, are going to come in on their days off and walk some extra Christmas beats in that area, hoping that people will feel comfortable returning to the business core. The Police Guild will also be selling WTO Battle of Seattle t-shirts, using those proceeds to buy gifts from downtown businesses hurt by last week's melee. And then take all of those items that are purchased and um, contribute them to charities for the holidays. The law firm of Karen Cross and Hempelman is going one better, giving each of 80 employees a crisp $100 bill, provided they spend it on Christmas gifts at downtown stores. Why? Because we feel badly for the retailers who had to bear the brunt of the disturbances last week by closing their stores and having their windows broken and so forth. Retailers say they lost millions of dollars because of last week's WTO protests and the shoppers who stayed away. The hope is people left their Christmas shopping till this weekend and will come down and shop in droves. Reporting live in Seattle, Kevin McCarty, Cairo 7 Eyewitness News. All right, Kevin, word tonight that two survivors of the Marine helicopter crash in San Diego are from Washington State. The chopper went down yesterday during a training exercise over the Pacific near San Diego.